This is a special presentation from Outdoor Travel Channel, Arizona Talk Radio, and Good Talk Radio. Let's begin. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Good Talk Radio. And today we are combining two shows in one. Yes, we are. Yeah. So we have Lisa and Helen from Relationship Show. Is that what you guys call your show? Lisa and Helen talk relationships. Ah, There we go. And so we thought it'd be interesting for them to have two guys on their show. Yeah, even. So this (laughs) is really their show. So um, uh, can you get, I'm terrible with last names. So we have Lisa at the top. What's your last name? Monaco. Monaco. That one's easy. Like Mm -hmm. the country. Helen's is the hard one. Now, Helen Below, what's your last name again? My last name is Cernigliaro. Yeah. It's Italian. Yeah. Yeah, you can pronounce it. I can pronounce it. I it doesn't it. come out good for me. It's okay, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Question so. is, question is, boys, can you spell it? No. no. Well, actually, I can cheat. No. I can see it on the screen. No. Yeah, that's a- <laughs> <laughs> so. You know so what, nice Derek? Th- I don't know your last name. What's your last name? Mine's Scribner. No, I know you, Rob. Oh, oh Derek. You, you and it, I are best buds at this point. Right. What's Derek's last name? It's Wrenchler. Wrench, wrench, what? German wrench. Wrenchler. What? Uh, actually, I like my name. It's Mister Universe. Never mind. Oh my God. <laughs> so today okay, we're going to talk about relationships with you guys. Yes. So this is exciting because we just did a series mm-hmm. of three shows on relationships and love mm-hmm. with a guy's version, and you guys have always done your show with a kind of your girl version. Yeah. And you've always said you wanted to get some guys on your show, and we wanted to get some girls on our mm-hmm. show. So here we are. Yeah, one big family. Yes. Oh, this is so exciting. Yes. Thank so, you for having us. Oh, you bet. So just to remind the listeners, though, I want to, this is kind of neat. This is kind of like East against West. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, uh, Lisa's in <laughs> Florida, right? And <laughs> he- he- Helen's over in New York. And you and I are in Yo, Arizona. Stuck in AZ. <laughs> yeah, so we got, the whole, we got the whole nation covered here. We do. We even have Chocolate Lab next to us here that just... Just about squished her toe. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, baby. Want to. So, uh, you don't want to mess. You don't want to mess with those Long Island girls. No, that's no. what I hear. We yeah. don't. We you don't. Heard we'll, right. Just let's put it, we'll, we'll put the rules <laughs> down right now. We're afraid of you. We are. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, don't be afraid of us. So We're really sweet. <laughs> so once again, of, I got to tell our listeners. Don't Derek. look her directly in the eyes. That's right. That's right. Now, Derek and I have oh, wait, a little problem here. We keep wanting to look to our right, right. because we see, yes. you see the girls on the right. They're over here, yeah. Yeah, but we're supposed to be we're, looking up there. Yeah. So forgive us if we're not yeah. looking at the right cameras. Sorry. I tend to look. I like to look at people when I'm yeah, talking to me them. Me too. And so I tend to look at the screen. So we're watching them and talking to them because we so. we respect them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, all right. I'm going to jump in right here. Let's do it. Yeah. We're talking about relationships. Yes. And um, everybody's in one. Mm -hmm. Most people want one. And how important is respect in a relationship? Take it away, anybody. Big Mm. time. Um, It's. I think that's probably the biggest thing is uh, I know, like, I've been married, like, forever. Mm -hmm. So it's like, um Everything that, sh- first of all, letting Sherry be an individual is important to me, which totally. Sherry's my wife. And being an individual, I think it's healthy to exercise that. Um, but we're still one unit. Yeah. But exactly. there is times that Sherry needs to let me be me, and there's time I need to let Sherry go do her thing with her daughter. And, uh, you know, so, and she uh, has a career. So, you know, yeah, I think that's important. <laughs> so, yeah. I. Yeah. I think to add to that, Rob, if you don't mind, no I think no that a couple needs to be happy them, with themselves. Like you don't, for me, I'll, I'll use me as an example. I don't need Danny to make me happy. Mm-hmm. He yeah. enhances exactly. my happiness. Totally. Yes, because I don't, I don't need anybody to make me happy. Great, if I'm great. not happy, it's because I'm doing something wrong. And that's actually a law of attraction rule, too, is you can't make other people happy. Absolutely. They've got to be happy first and with themselves. And you can support them, but you can't make them happy. Yeah. Exactly. I agree with that. I I think what Lisa said, you know, this saying went around for the longest time is, you complete me. Yes. And uh, I think it's the biggest. Terry McGuire. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Great right. Movie. Good job. You know, that's a really good movie, but at the same point, I don't need anybody to complete me. Like Lisa said, um, and you know, being with somebody should enhance um, your life. Uh, they should complement your life, but to complete you, you know, we won't even get started, Rob, about the law of attraction because we don't, we, you know, we have to be happy on our own before we can go into any kind of relationship. And a lot of people think when they get into a relationship, I'll be happy when I get the relationship. I'll be happy when I get the this. I'll be happy when I get the that. And it's just not true. And a lot of people don't yeah. get that, that yeah. until they're happy with themselves, they're just not gonna, they're not going to be happy with anybody and uh, respect you know coming back to that original thing um, I have seen couples fight where they have gone at it tooth and nail and mm -hmm. every nasty curse word at them and I just look at them <laughs> and think you really letting somebody talk to you like this yeah and then I've seen some some couples fight where they kind of grit their teeth and turn, ah, you would just do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we never and, do that. Uh, yeah. I wonder if there's a way in a relationship how to fight fairly. So I'm going to put that out to everybody because what I'm doing today is I'm creating dialogues sure. and getting in trouble for it, I might say. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. we do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. am creating dialogues today. So well, how do you fight fairly in a relationship? What do you do? Mm -hmm. I think the first thing you need to do for me is to step back. Don't say nothing. Yep. You take a minute yeah, because yeah, once exactly. you start saying something, words hurt. Yes, words, words last a long time. Exactly. And so, I was like, uh, with Sherry and I, we try not to. Yeah. Yeah. We try not to yell at each other. We tend to s s go silent for a little bit, yeah. think things through, and then somehow reconnect again and try to get it to work yeah and you've brought that up before Rob like yeah. you said you'll take a minute to yourself and you'll go and you'll move away from the situation and then come back and readdress it yeah. I think we've talked about that before but yeah you've yeah. got to give each other space when if you're gonna kind of go there you might as well just kind of say hey give me a couple minutes I don't want to say something I'll regret yeah. you know just Plus you, need, you need that humble time a little bit guys True. guys are kind of arrogant you might say sometimes yeah and, we well yeah, women can do it too me. but sometimes we got to step back and say you know what I need to let my hair down. Sure. I'll go and you know, talk to her again and yeah. apologize. Start from scratch and yeah. get this conversation over with or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. that's hard. I think that's, that's important. really hard. It's, sometimes it's very hard. Like you just you want to say something. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got to exactly. hold back. Especially, sometimes, yeah. it, and I think if you don't, if you're not able to hold back, and you actually say something that you know after you've said it it's it's hurtful and you and you truly you sorry and you didn't mean it mm -hmm. i think it's important to address that out of respect as well yeah now, one of the Do things i brought up on our show is i i uh, one thing i've learned over time mm -hmm. is to learn how to think out loud so how many times do you ever kind of keep comments to yourself or you think something's kind of like crazy like let's go to uh, Hawaii for the summer sure. and you say oh right. my wife's gonna not like that idea I'm not gonna even bring it up yeah so one of the things we brought up in our show at least with me and Sherry is be daring a little bit and think out uh, talk out loud or talk about what you're thinking yeah even if it's crazy so better communication yeah, yeah well for sure. because sometimes you'll be so surprised is a lot of times you go well, I kind of was thinking about something like that too. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you were? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you could go months thinking about something and never say it out loud mm -hmm. and miss out on some great opportunities together and, and maybe modify it that works really good for both of you, you know. And, and I find a lot of people have a hard time doing that. Yeah, you've got to be able to communicate. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good idea. I like that. Mm -hmm. I, I have a question for you. What do you guys do? When a guy will say, when a woman, say, when a guy asks a woman, "Is everything all right?" and she turns around and says, "Everything's fine." Oh. No, I don't think everything's fine. No, really, everything's fine. It's fine. What do you do with that? And how do you read that? And how does that? Um, I think men and women obviously fight differently. Uh, but what do you do? when you kind of might miss the cues of what a woman is trying to tell you, but trying not to tell you, but pay attention, but do you, you know, know what I mean? So how what do you do when, <laughs> Rob, what do you do when your wife has said, 
is anything wrong? And she turns around and says, everything's just fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. What do you do? My wife doesn't do that. Well, <laughs> I mean, I've had that done to me so many times. But okay, Derek. Well, I mean, what about you? Tell yeah, us. Derek. I mean, you know, this is the guys versus the girls. That's I mean, right. when I say I'm fine and my boyfriend <laughs> asks something and it's not fine if no. I'm saying it's oh, fine. But if you know that person, you know they're not fine. You know what I mean? So it's like. Come on, if you really are, if you guys are best friends, it's like, come on, tell me what's up. What's going on? I know it's, there's something more. If you don't want to talk about it right now, I get it, but there's it's, there's something else going on. Talk to me. What's up? But, I mean, it all depends on how the you know the woman's going to react. If she's pissed off, you might as well just walk away because nothing you say is going to be the right answer. <laughs> but I get it. That's a signal saying, I want to talk more. But please, mm, you better say the right thing right now because <laughs> you're dead. Mate. Exactly. <laughs> but that's the thing that gets confusing for guys is women will say something, we take it as okay, but really you mean something else by what you say, <laughs> <laughs> and it's very difficult to interpret that. So. Um, okay, so let me ask you this then: if something's bothering a guy, yeah, and I'll say you know something wrong or something, I'm fine, I'm yeah. okay. But Ooh. yet, you know, but I think because if a guy pesters a woman, so to speak, to sure. find out what's wrong, talk to me, yeah. the woman will turn around and say, okay, and she'll let you have it, so Absolutely. to speak, and possibly in a nice way, possibly not in a nice way. <laughs> but with a guy, I just feel like, you know, it's like you got to really nudge or nag to really find out what's right. Not At least I see. Okay. I'm glad you said that because that's the opposite with Danny. I'm okay. more of the, I will, I'm a talker. Yeah. I will communicate. However, when I need to process, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm quiet. He yeah. knows it. He's more of a talker. Communicate. Get it out in the open. Yeah. Okay. No, cu no communication. You got problems. I'm, I'm like you know, your if you can't fiance. I'm, I'm like, let's talk about it. Let's get it out. What's up? You know, let's not yeah. sit here and be mad at each other for ten minutes when we can fix this right now and have a great night together. And you're just, you know, we can move this on. We can get past this. So yeah. I see. You where don't you're want from. it to go into the next day. Exactly. That's yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, Derek, Derek, let me ask you a question. Yeah, Are you up? in a relationship now? Yeah. Oh, well, no, am I? I was just recently, but I got out of it because it's two alphas, <laughs> and it was not good. So I, I know when to throw in the towel and get the heck out of there. So. Really? She's a great girl, though, well, but just not for this. Me. If it's two alphas, and if you guys really liked each other, you couldn't learn to compromise? I love this girl, but um, she, I'm an ex-drinker. And I don't. I'm sober, and she drinks, and uh, that oh. was one thing we didn't look eye to eye on, and uh, that was right. affecting our relationship. So, I know with you know addiction, you you got to mm -hmm. draw the line. You know, otherwise, it, I commend you. I commend you, and I'm going to tell you something. It's tough. Congratulations. Thank you. That yeah. You, Four that years. That you're Four sober. sober. Yeah. Um. Secondly, you have to come before anybody else, Absolutely. even somebody you Definitely. love. That's probably Whether it be a spouse, family member, even I have four kids. Yeah. I learned at, at, at age 40, I'm 45 now, so I learned a few years back. Sure. I actually have to come before my kids with certain things because yeah. if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of the ones you love. Exactly. And again, whether it be children, uh, spouse, whoever. Yeah. Um, so you, I, to me, I think you did the right thing. I yeah, commend okay. you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, you can't, I mean, if you're not happy with yourself, how the heck are you going to make someone else happy? I mean, it, right. it starts with oh, you yeah, always. Wow. Totally. Yeah, took me that. years to learn Absolutely that, though. Absolutely love yeah. that. It took me a and long time to learn that. I think that's really true. Okay, here's another question, because I'm uh -oh. a little Miss Questionnaire today, and okay. still don't want to get in trouble, because I'm getting in trouble all get day. Get in trouble. Come on. Um, how long is it okay to date and be in a relationship where a woman might say okay we've been in this a while now mm -hmm. uh i want to get married oh, and man. say what happens if the guy starts doing the hem and then the haw and dance okay but the woman loves the guy and this is a great guy but she just doesn't want to get married do you think she can change his mind 
Well, so Rob, you come from an old school perspective, though, and I know you got to answer, but I no, I don't. No? Okay. Well, coming from you know your generation, what would necessarily? I mean, now I, I think people make a decision quicker. But go ahead, you say. I mean, I think you really do. Have we're more traditional, exactly. Yeah, so we tend to be like uh, we we actually you know you can remember this is the seventies. Yeah, we yeah. tried to live together for a while, but exactly. our family put so much pressure on us. Sure. That that's such a sinful thing to do we yeah. actually got married at 19. yeah yeah but i mean we knew each other growing up the whole your whole life yeah, yeah. so um but, childhood yeah, sweethearts I mean, some of these people i mean things have changed so much Big that time. a lot of people are not even getting married they're just living together and don't, yeah. and some reason that contract yep. drives them crazy it's a business contract it's not even marriage yeah. anymore sometimes but, see i look at it it's not just a marriage contract it's a it's a agreement in front of God exactly. and so I take it See? a little different level big time yeah. so that my commitment's a little beyond just the legal part of it yep it's the the whole picture <laughs> yeah and I, I, right. I love that aspect I love the way you look at it for me if there was if we're putting a time you know period on this I would say you got to give it at least two years one year living apart one year living together and if you can get through that I think the odds of you guys making it are going to be, you know, pretty yeah, high. Cause I, see, I'm not opposed to living together like my family was. Sure. Because uh, because you find out so much about each other in yeah. one year when oh, you're yeah. living <laughs> totally different. Um, so, uh, and I think both of my kids did live with their um, mm -hmm. spouses before they got married. Yeah. While yeah. their partners. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so my way of thinking isn't necessarily good with this generation. Yeah. 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 But it's it's situational too. Like yeah. I mean, I've known people that saw each other and got married like six weeks later, yeah. a couple of weeks later. But I think uh, oh it's definitely <laughs> smart to take some time and very and be very patient with what you're going into. But uh, yeah. nowadays it's different. You know, it's case by case. Well, takes time yeah. getting to know your your loved one too. Totally. Absolutely. And sometimes it takes a lifetime to get it's, to know them. Absolutely. <laughs> and sometimes so you might not end up knowing them anyway after that too. So, so this, there this, you go. I'm going to bring something <laughs> funny to this conversation. That could happen too. Trust me. So since we got okay, two, what, two, I got two girls on here, and I'm going to bring up the ultimate question. Okay. When can you fluff in front of your girlfriend? Ooh, that's a tough one. When can you what? I'm sorry. When can you fluff in front of your girlfriend? Pass, pass gas or fart. or pass gas. <laughs> Anytime you want. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Do you hear that, ladies? From the very beginning. Yeah. Helen's Gotta be yourself. Like, I'm crazy. <laughs> Gotta be I yourself. Never, I haven't done that in front of Tom yet. I run to the bathroom. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't even believe thing. I just said that. No, that's okay. That's <laughs> no, okay. It's funny. Well, it's actually, natural you know, I, thing. And, I think it's kind of um, interesting to bring that up. Not because, can't I be mean, afraid. fluffing is always funny. It's always a funny subject. It is. It makes but you laugh. that's an intimate kind of thing where. Big time. Um, where do you kind of get to the part where it's just kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. And it's natural. And then, like, you know, with, when you get our age, yeah. it's just like, you know, like. Your dinner was good tonight, Robert. <laughs> you know, when I cooked it, yeah. you know, it's just one of those you don't even think twice about. Yeah, and you kind of That's laugh hysterical. about it. That's I love it. And uh, love but uh, it. Sherry and I, I mean, it's what? like a joke, or yeah. you know, and it's like, uh, uh, you know, we're obviously manner wise, but I mean, yeah. as a couple, it's like, pfft. I mean, it's just, <laughs> we just let her rip, you know. And Wait, I thought women don't use the bathroom or fart. I thought I know. Yeah, I have news for you. That's why you want to live with them first, find out these things. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Brother. But it has, actually, so I think funny. that tells a lot about your relationship. Yeah. I know it's a funny thing to use for a measurement. But it, it's a respect thing, but at the same time, it's a comfort thing, too. Like, if you're at the right thing, that's a sign that <laughs> right. we're getting close. Yeah, you better this get married. Good. Yeah. You can, when you can fluff in front of your better girlfriend, get that you ring ready. better get married. Better get that ring ready. What, right. You guys? No. No. <laughs> if you can I think that's so funny, but no, I get up and I run to, you know, excuse no. me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Come back. See, and I'm, if I've had something bad to eat, it's like, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there for a while. Go to yep. sleep. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm a burper. Burping, oh, good See, girl. Yeah, burping oh, doesn't bother my wife, me. My wife can, she can yeah. burp, man. Yeah. She's good at it. 
I think it's great when a girl drinks a beer and just burps. I think I was yeah. like, ah, oh, you know what? You're being yourself. That's freaking awesome. Like, See? keep it up. You know, yeah. look at Helen's face. Don't be uncomfortable. <laughs> Get it out. You don't yeah. want to sit there miserable. I, I can oh, what fun though? Yeah. I mean, it's competition. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I like that I can't can on command. Well, you see, it's a talent, it's a gift, but you know, I try not to because you know, yeah. it's like, you know, just try not to. But yeah. now I feel a burp coming on and now I have to stifle it because I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good well, there's a right time Seriously. and a wrong time still, but I mean, uh, but uh, I mean, So Derek, yeah. so Derek, what's your I what's your ideal woman Ooh. that mm. you would like to meet? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, great. He I, just gave up. Oh, I, this is oh, okay. I think about it okay. every day. Tell us. So, um, do you want like the actual the, her look or just something more internal? Just what, what is what is one of the qualities that you're really looking okay. for in in a woman that okay. you would like to spend your life with? Ah, uh, great question. Yeah. So, I'll tell you a funny. So, so I prayed, and not to get religious, but I prayed for a long time to find someone like me, and I did find a girl like me and it was a bad idea <laughs> so she um i want a girl who i mean first of all trust that's great and respect too because i've experienced both of those where that wasn't there um right but someone who's insecure i need someone to be secure with themselves emotionally physically spiritually like i need it. someone to take care of their own business it's like they you handle your half i'll handle my half and we'll come together i the codependency thing doesn't work. I've, you know, That's right. so you got to have your shit together. And if, yeah. if I see that, I mean, you know, the first four months is just a presentation. It's all BS. But if the girl has her stuff together, I mean, obviously attraction is going to be the first thing, mm -hmm. but you're yeah. looking to see what she's done in her past, what kind of person she is, how she treats people. You know, you're always watching just to, you know, I say you get re you get three red check marks. And if they get three red checks, I'm out. So I really am particular about just, you know, trust and, and, and being a glass half full, a positive person, and to make sure the person's secure with themselves. That's, I'm learning and that. And be, being secure with yourself is actually the new sexy. Yeah, it is. Exactly. And I think I'm projecting things that I need to work on. You, you know what I mean? And, you know, yeah. so that's and when I talk about how I want somebody. Also, I know those are things I need to work on, too. So um, that's good. Yeah. Self-reflection is always very good, especially exactly. in a relationship. Yep. yep. Yeah, I do believe in opposites attract because that's Sherry true. and I are totally different. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a visionary and she's more of a anal attentive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two different. Yeah. <laughs> and it works great because yeah. she keeps me in line and, and yeah. me, I keep her dreaming. Yeah. Otherwise, she she'd love a patterned life. All you keep her time. busy, like you you surprise her, do fun things. I mean, that yeah, keeps yeah. The, the the heat and the fire going. So yeah, that's cool. Good. But yeah, opposites. Don't be afraid if someone's quiet and shy, and you're kind of bold. And, yeah, and, and and all that stuff is like you'd be surprised how well that works. Yeah, be confident, go for yeah. it. What do you got to lose? Yeah, because sometimes us visionaries, crazy ones, need to be pulled in. Yeah, and the ones that are quiet and patternized and all that want to be pulled out of that a little bit. Exactly. So it's an venture to both of you. Yeah, you're taken out of their comfort zone and exploring. I think that's real healthy. Yeah. What about you guys? <laughs> yeah. What's your ideal guy? Who me? Yeah, I mean, sure, obviously sure. you found him. <laughs> Tell us about oh, it. Definitely. Um, well, I, I have him now. I mean, right? you know, he's the love of my life. Um, somebody who's secure, strong, yeah. um, believes in himself, believes yeah. in uh, just building on our relationship. Yeah, who you know, together. On, yeah. Uh, just very secure on every level, and loving and kind. Uh, a bit twisted. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a lot like me, twisted <laughs> personality. You have yeah. to make me laugh. I love laughing. Humor. I love making people laugh. Yeah, that's another one um, I forgot to say. He's uh, he's got a lot of heart and passion. Sometimes he comes off harsh. Yeah. But he's uh, a, a, a he's a mush. He's a he's a, he's a teddy bear and yeah. just somebody that um, has a lot of faith and wants to grow. Nice. Great. How about, how about you, Heather? He Helen, go for it. Helen? <laughs> Heather. Yes. Do I have a question. That. Sorry. Um, yes. When you're looking for the perfect mate, yeah. I think the word perfect 
should not be in there. Totally. Because everybody says, look for your ideal mate, your soulmate, your perfect mate, your perfect match, and everything like that. Yeah. Because nobody's perfect. And I think a lot of times when people are looking, going online, you know, looking to meet somebody, if they don't meet a certain criteria, mm -hmm. they kind of check the person off. Yep. And I like what Derek said that there are three you know, red flags or three checkmates that, you know, could be, can I at least say deal breakers, Derek, perhaps? Absolutely, yeah, that's that, true. That yeah. um, you wouldn't want to get involved in or you would cut off the relationship or something like that. Yeah. But I do find that a lot of people are not realistic when they're looking for somebody. Um, they're looking for the ideal perfect person and I found it very interesting when Lisa asked you to describe your perfect person if it was Lisa I don't remember at this point um, that you said men are very visual and you said looks first or you know basically mental you know and in, or intellect after that yeah and how important is appearance to a guy how important is that uh, it's important I don't care what anybody says it's if you're if there's not an attraction I mean, you, you'll see lifelong friends that maybe, you know, one's really beautiful and the other one you're like, oh my God, why, why is this person with the other person? They're so much more attractive, but it's that interconnection. But in Arizona, it's all about how you look and what you do for a living. So Really? Um, but yeah, it's very, oh man, it's different. It's like Hollywood in, in here in Scottsdale and stuff. So A little superficial? Exactly. Very like, superficial. Yeah. Big time. We well, don't have dirty cars Derek, here. <laughs> I, said, I said appearance, not attraction. Appearance? So well, you mean... Tell, well, me, tell me the difference. Well, appearance obviously is how they're put together. Are they, you know... I mean, that's pretty... It goes many different ways. Um, someone's got to take care of themselves, you know, in every way. Whether it's their weight, you know, how they look, how they dress, how they... Their etiquette. I mean, it can go so many different directions with that, but... Mm -hmm. If they're okay. sloppy, you, you really notice it. I mean, that means their life's probably going to be sloppy too. So, yeah, I think mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to add a little bit of an age bracket on that. Sure. As you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, especially if you're still in the trying to find the right person. Sure, sure. Uh, for guys, um, we have this automatic button about curves and 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 looks, and just no matter who it is, even if you've been married 35, or I guess it'd be like 25 years in. <laughs> Better get it right. <laughs> still, still, when you see curves and stuff like that, it's still something makes you look. Yeah. As, and, and even when you're in your 50s, it's a, it's a natural thing. You're a guy, yeah. But as I've gotten older, um, and of course, Sherry and I, I've lost my hair, and I've gained weight, and Sherry has too, and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's changed so much. Um, it's not physical anymore. Sure. It's about having a partner mm -hmm. someone to share your life with yeah. and that's gets so much more important yeah. than the physical mm -hmm. and that kind of changed somewhere between i'd say 45 to 55 yeah, yeah where it's like you know just the fact that i'm sitting on this couch next to my best friend yeah it's a, and it's it's changed and it's still physical i mean it, yeah, it's, yeah but not like it was I, yeah i know what you mean <laughs> you know, though, yeah. and it, it's really different it's a transition um, and i i imagine i i it must be interesting to date yeah. if somebody was like uh, widowed or something or in their 50s or 60s mm -hmm. because it's now more emotional and more of finding a partner or finding someone to do things with. Yeah. That partner of it's not just physical yeah. and it's really changed. But so I certainly understand definitely when you get in the younger generation, it is about the curves and all that stuff. But absolutely, that's true with heavy set women too. I mean, it's still got great curves. Mm -hmm. It's but their presentation is can be, um, uh, yeah. I mean, you can just do a, this. So I, I think you're true in saying it. I mean, I, I want to make sure that people don't think you have to be this petite, gorgeous woman no, no. in your twenties. You can still be a gal, maybe heavy set and all that stuff, yeah. but still does a great presentation of sure. themselves and they take right. care of themselves and, and, and manners and all those things For, and, and etiquette. You, you only got remember like this. Idea. There's a saying: um, yeah, yeah. sexiness wears thin. It's true. After a while, and yep. beauty fades. But to be married to a mate who makes you laugh every day, that's a real treat. <laughs> yeah, that's my job. I think you're right. <laughs> Humor goes right. a long way. It yeah. does. We yeah. laugh every day here, so, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Helen. I know you want to say something. Go for it. Actually, it was there, but it's gone. It'll come back. <laughs> Not to worry. 
<laughs> I saw it in her eyes, and I was like, you gotta oh, raise it. she's going to lose it. You she's going to lose it. Get you, go get like, your okay, pen okay. with you. Should, I know. I know. It'll come back. You've not been talking about sure, presentation in terms on. of. Well, you know what? I, I, I think you're right about presentation. Um, now I know what I was going to say. Thank you, Derek. Yeah, yeah, it, no problem. Um, <laughs> uh, sometimes I think it's a little unfair. Yeah, uh, definitely. Because as a woman gets older, you know, she really... Women, I've read articles where women say they feel like they become a piece of the furniture and they're overlooked, yeah. you know, due to their younger counterparts that are slimmer, prettier, um, more fit or whatever you want to say. And sometimes I, I, I think it is unfair because as a man gets older, he gets distinguished and the grays look good on him and everything else. And, uh, you know, women of a certain age, sometimes they get a mustache and that's not looking good. Yeah. I'm going to say that. <laughs> what I mean? But also, also, I'm so lucky I don't have that issue. But, <laughs> but you're right. right you're now. totally right. <laughs> I can, I'm dying. I can tell that, but, like, but, Helen and I are at the same age bracket, so we, I totally relate. Yeah. Yeah. Helen, I'll, I'll tell you something. Very, very seriously. If you, um, if you take you know, care, I'm an advocate for reinvention, sure, and just sure. because you're in a, you're a certain age, you know, <laughs> I will never be fading into the woodwork. That's for sure. Yeah. But I will say, this hair does not come cheap. It's like, <laughs> um, girls got I, it tough. I know that. I know. Let's... And the roots every four weeks. You could say, I need to go to the hospital. It's an emergency. And I say, no, it's root day. I can't go. Sorry. I got to do the roots. And that would be that. Um, and sometimes it is a little tougher for an older woman. I, if I put my mind to it, I'm in a relationship right now. But if I put my mind to it, I, uh, I meet men wherever I go. Because yeah. it's my energy. And I like men. And yeah. uh, I have found sometimes women my age, in their 50s, don't like men, and they're mad at men. Well, they haven't met Mr. Energy, Universe and yet. And that energy can be felt. <laughs> yeah. And when a guy fe feels that energy, you know, he's yeah. heading for the hills. He's ready, you know, he's ready, I've got to go. And, you know, he's out the yeah. door. Uh, it really does all come down to what kind of energy you're, you know, you're throwing out to the world and all that kind of yeah. stuff. But yeah. I want. I, I have another question now. Yeah, I got one I'm after you. questions today. <laughs> okay. I'm after you. <laughs> Um, what about online dating? Now, Derek, you're single. I'm single. Yeah. Lisa, you're not single. I mean, I'm in a relationship. You're engaged. Derek's, I think, dating. But um, I'm Ward Cleaver. Rob, I <laughs> doubt you've ever been online dating, so we'll leave that there. Okay. Uh, but how about what? What do you? How do you feel? Well, how do you feel about online dating? How do you guys feel about that? I'll be honest with you. Uh, yeah. I think, and just from talking to girlfriends of mine and, and people, it's saturated with the same people on there that go on there uh -huh. just to hook up. It's not, unless you go to like match.com and really get specific and detailed on what you're looking for, these guys okay. just go on there and they're headhunters. They're just, and girls too, they're just looking for a hookup. So it's mm -hmm. changed from what it used to be when it was really taken for what it was and was used properly. But I never have been on a dating site, never. Me okay. Neither. Yeah. Don't look at me. Yeah. I, I mean. Well, I'm... okay. All right. Helen's going to answer her own question. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been divorced a long time, and I've been in a series of long-term relationships, short-term relationships, uh, never, ever, ever relationships, <laughs> and um, I have tried eHarmony, yeah. Match.com, yeah. Our Time, uh, Zeus, and Plenty of Fish. Yeah. And uh, I've had good experiences with all of them yeah. because I went in there with that attitude. I met a lot of nice men, um, but a lot of them weren't for me. Yeah. And I was very honest about that, that we went out once and if I got asked out again, I wouldn't pick up the phone and I'd send a text and I'll tell you exactly what I said. And I got this from Oprah. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> Might steal it from it. Thank you very much for your interest, but I did not feel that special tingle or special something that would make me want to pursue this as a romantic relationship. It was a pleasure meeting you and I wish you all the best and good luck. I, bye bye. I applaud your honesty. I mean, really, it yeah. hurts, it stings, yeah. but if a guy's secure with himself, he's going to take that and say, all right, you cool. know, I appreciate it being honest.
<laughs> but right. uh, I, yeah, I got yeah. a question. And, and some people have done that to me, where I just thought, I thought, this is great. Uh, not, and yeah. that was that. Yeah. Uh, it does make you kinder. Um, true, true. It, it's a learning curve, that's for sure. But um, how do you meet? I mean, I've met a lot of um, people I've dated out at bars, socializing. Yeah. Not drunk mm -hmm. as a skunk yeah, bars, yeah. but nice places where you're having a drink and you know you strike mm -hmm. up a conversation. Uh, so where do you really meet people? I'm a member of Meetup. Grocery store. And I do, Square I do dancing. meet up a lot. But where do you where do you meet people? You know, have Derek. Where do you meet somebody? Grocery store. One hundred percent. Grocery store for sure. Like yeah. the produce section. All over. Yeah. It's, Squeeze I, these melons. I I'm mean, serious. Really? Dead Come serious. On. Girls just see a nice do, nice melon. Girls do dress up a little bit at the grocery store. They're a little bit dialed down because they're shopping. But I'll tell you what, it's a great place to meet people. And if you got the courage to go up and talk to somebody, you can find some. Because obviously they're there. They're picking up food. They're taking care of themselves. I mean, I think yeah. it's a great place to, to, to meet someone cool. So, I mean, so I've if met they got a I whole, mean, if, if their basket's if full of Fruit Loops, yeah. that's not good. Yeah, yeah. If their basket's full of Fruit Loops, don't do it. <laughs> if they're buying spam, just keep walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I have a question. I got to ask this question. In relationships, whether you've been married or you're dating or you're living with somebody right now, do you always keep the money separated or do you eventually do a joint account? How do you deal with okay. money? When I was married, we had two separate accounts that we were each a part of. Mm -hmm. um, for the majority, he, he had control of all of it. Okay. Because at that time when I was married, um, he, he was good at the, the financial end of it. That's, yeah. Go ahead, Helen. Will I, will I do that again? No. Yeah, yeah. It was Very a learning nice. lesson. Helen? Helen, go for it. Uh, I, I'm with Lisa. When I was married, it was a joint account, and um, now separate, and it will remain separate. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Go rock. And go if I got married, there would be a prenup, and okay. I wouldn't marry anybody without a prenup. Yeah, that makes, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Sherry and I, we've always been a joint. Yeah. We try to live everything as one, but we still have, like, for many years, I actually managed the money for a while. Okay. And then it kind of flopped over, and then she took it over because she is an accountant. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, especially when you got more sophisticated with the company and the corporation yeah. and all that. Um, but, right. Um, but we've always been, so the only reason we have two accounts is one's a business account. Yeah, one's a, for right But tax everything purposes, yeah. of us is together. Yeah. One, right. just one. But, and, uh. I could, you know, and I've seen people where somebody might have a spending issue and stuff like that could cause some real issues. So yeah. splitting the money or having separate accounts tends to help manage somebody with an issue of spending too much. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because um, I know that's the root of all evil. Sometimes is money. It, yeah. It's and uh, yeah. but Sherry and I, we've, I can't even get Sherry to go grocery. I mean, if she she hates shopping. Yeah, I mean, she goes I in and too. like. She does not like to shop. I mean, I don't have a. If anybody spends more money around here, it's me. Yeah, <laughs> it's, props, props, props to shop. <laughs> it's, it's all these toys. I don't exactly. have to spend money, and I took me six months to get a haircut. <clears throat> yeah, see, yeah. I mean, it's good. It's to, sure, he's that way. Yeah, it's good to save, but I think it's all about trust, and you should be able to have a you know one main account for both you. I mean, the separation thing, I get, I understand, but if you don't trust that person with your money. What else don't you trust them with? And I know that there's a very, it's all situational, but I think when you get to the marriage point, prenup is definitely a great idea. You have to do that. But in terms of the account, I mean, bringing it together and letting the person who's the most responsible, you know, it should be the one that's in charge of everything else. You well, know? I okay, think that's but my opinion. When, um, when we go grocery shopping, we just, I have it, or, you know, I, I, whoever has the most cash pays. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Thing. It, it really is never yeah. an issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I own the house, so yeah. if there is a repair to make, I, I do take care of it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Whether that's good or bad or wrong or right, I don't know, but I just assume natural responsibility yeah. for the house. But you, and, do you know how uh, you have that tit-for-tat thing? Since it's my name 
on the deed, yeah. you know, that's it. But you and, see how uh, you're, you're already... I don't necessarily mind. I yeah. really don't. Do you know how you're already kind of categorizing, like, okay, I pay for this, and th I mean, you shouldn't have to do that. You should be able to have the same account where everything gets taken care of. You know what I mean? I, I see how you're saying, well, yeah, you know, I'm, it's my uh, house, you know, I'm, I'm going to take care of it, but then you're always talking about money, like, oh, it's your turn to buy the groceries, or it's my turn to take you out, and that always becomes an issue because... It's true. Yeah, it, money always becomes uh, a topic of conversation, so it's always going to be an issue if you have that. You know, that's my. I opinion. do see. I do see your point. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I but do see your point. It's situational, though. Definitely that, situational. But, uh, One thing it gets. We never really talk about it. We just kind of go with the flow with it. It's not yeah. a worry. Yeah. Okay. Or um, an issue, but I do see where I do see your point on that. I really do. Yeah. Because I, I get it. I've been in situations where the guy, so you have two separate accounts, the guy ends up paying for everything, and the mm -hmm. girl just will milk, and, just, and you know it, and you know it's happening. And That's the, what I'm doing wrong. Yes. <laughs> Come on. You need to milk the guy. <laughs> but also, there, I mean, it's... It's, it's so situational. It's I hard to. I should be milking. I know. <laughs> Move. It's I mean, out here in Arizona, it's different. But um, I, I just see if you're getting married, you should be able to combine accounts. I think that's just saying, hey, I trust you. I love you. Let's do this for real. But the prenup yeah. is number one. You got to get that yeah. done. Yeah. 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 I think it gets this. more complex uh, with as age opposed, too. As opposed to living together, as opposed to being married. Yeah. Um, I think living together, there's absolutely a commitment. Sure. But sure. for me, yeah. there's that little escape clause going, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. Um, and there's that little escape clause that can keep you say, okay, now I don't have to go through this, 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 or that. And I think for me, this is only my opinion, you know, once you're married, I think there's a higher level of commitment. Thoughts, anybody? Well, Rob brought up a good comment, and he said age. Age is a big factor. Big time. At, at older, especially if you're, like, widowed or, 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 or divorced and you're trying to meet somebody yeah. in your 40s and 50s, and you have families yeah. involved. And businesses. So, and sometimes like that. it gets more complex where you have to keep it separated. I, that I understand. Maybe there's yeah. inherent, inheritances or mm -hmm. trust funds, yeah. and you've got to keep them or property. secured. Yeah. And if you're married and you were to pass away, yeah. that person could actually underhandedly take money from your children and yeah. stuff. I've seen it done for I, yeah, I have too. And so it does I think it definitely gets more complex it, as you yeah. get older and have grandkids and grandkids and yeah. and families and inheritance and uh, yeah. trust funds and all that stuff. And then it's like I can certainly see why a lot of them will keep their accounts separately or not even get married at all right. at an older age. Yeah. Maybe this is why it. Oprah never got married. Could be. Yeah. I mean, She's a very smart woman. It's a business contract now. Marriage isn't taken as serious as it was, you know, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. It's all it oh, is. I don't know about that. I, I think it's it, people are more focused on the financial aspect of a marriage than the mm -hmm. love. And it's that's the smart thing to do nowadays. It, you have to do that, otherwise you could end up in a world of hurt. So yeah. it's just how it is. So I mean, I'd love to hear everybody's opinion since all of you have been either dating or or just got you know uh, partners recently. Mm -hmm. But I never had to deal with this, and I, even nowadays I still, I guess I do deal with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the social media aspect of all relationships, whether you know like. Uh, Sherry and I were kind of. She knows I got my accounts more for marketing and and fun yeah. stuff, and I'll show cooking and stuff like that. And she keeps hers very conservative, sure. just very, very. In fact, she never posts in it. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so, but I know that, and you brought it up too, mm -hmm. where uh, sometimes you even evaluate your relationships by seeing what your partner's posting. Oh yeah, and, mm -hmm. and then there's jealousy sometimes. Like, boy, you seem like to like a lot of girls' posts out I've there. I've been called out before. Yeah, yeah being, I mean, and it's like uh, my wife would never do that because yeah. <laughs> the joke would be is everybody's my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's in a fun way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I can, you know, I don't have to worry about liking something Helen does or Lisa yeah. does, and my wife coming back going, 
why are you liking all those pretty girls? Yeah, what stuff? the hell did you do that for? Yeah. It's not even close to that. Well, but, but I do know that exists in, yeah. in relationships for younger people. Lisa, you post, you, I mean, Lisa, you post like photos and stuff, and your guy seems to be yeah. cool with it, right? I just think it's yes. an agreement you he, have, right? I'm going to tell you. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you actually brought this up. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's what I'm here for. Yeah. You ha- <laughs> it, it goes back down Bob's to over. being secure within yourself first. Yeah. So I know, I, I see things that Danny likes. Um, he's never disrespectful. He's not, um, you know, writing things to women, nor am I to other, to other men. Yeah, I will yeah. like posts where we have mutual friends. Um, actually there's, I, I will use this as an example. He has, um, a friend who is also an ex-girlfriend. She's, she's gorgeous mm-hmm. and she, you know, she works out. She's, she's a, big into the gym and stuff. And I, from a girl's aspect, I'm like, I look at her and I think she's just so hot. That's, see, that's a <laughs> you good know, way at, but yeah. she's made such beautiful progress. Yeah. Um, in in her uh, working out in the gym and everything, and it's inspiring. And yeah. I miss the gym, so yeah. I look to that for inspiration and stuff. Yeah. Um, I get it, sometimes I get inboxes from other men. Oh yeah. I, I bet. I, Danny knows. He sees it. My, I'm an open book. Yeah, like, you yeah. know, my phone is out. I don't hide anything. Yeah. Um, and I think in any relationship with any people, if you're secure within yourself, mm-hmm. um, you know your partner, whoever, whoever that is, is mm-hmm. is not, you know, looking to do anything. And if at if at any point, when I had this conversation with. Um, with him many moons ago yeah. if somebody feels that they're not committed to their current relationship i think communication is key yeah totally. um you know i think uh, as you get older you know do the right thing if yeah. you're not happy yeah um you know sometimes you learn from experience with that yeah and I just truly believe that if you are secure within yourself, if your partner is liking other things or even commenting a little here or there, mm-hmm. that there's really nothing meant by it as long as it's not disrespectful. Yep. I you agree. know, there's there's another line of disrespect. There's I a think. Li- exactly. Crossing so, that line. Does that yeah. make sense? Did I ramble? Oh, I ramble. No, that was Sorry. No, it made that sense. Great. made a lot of sense, yeah. actually. Yeah. How about, how's that? Uh, yeah. How's social media? Um, work with uh, your relationship with your new fiance is a boyfriend Helen yeah me yeah uh, Lisa's fiance me boyfriend okay yes. well if you tell <laughs> Helen your turn come on don't sit we, we're, we got to hear this yeah plus we only have uh, about we're taking notes over here, here. <laughs> oh boy Helen's uh, a little bit more conservative on Facebook I'm a little I'm an open book yeah you know, I admire Helen for you that for that you're 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 more conservative when it comes to that. So I admire that. Well, if I had your little body, I'd be showing it off to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, now um, my <laughs> my boyfriend knows I have um, some very good uh, friends from high school that are guys. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have breakfast or lunch with them every once in a while. We socialize. Uh, the guy has a girlfriend. Um, obviously, you know, we all go out together. And uh, I have a couple friends like that. And Tom doesn't have any issues with it because he trusts me. That's cool. And I'm very upfront about it. Even um, with Meetup, I get some um, guys that saying, hello, how are oh. you? You know, it's law yeah. of attraction. That's, and I, I know you guys are getting hit up. Come on. <laughs> it's like, no. Have you read the secret, please? Yeah, but yeah. anyway, uh, he's very um, he's very trusting, and I trust him too. Uh, we're in a um, we're older, mm-hmm. and I think uh, in a relationship at this age, you opt to trust any uh, trust somebody. And I have noticed uh, people my age that don't trust their significant others. They're checking their phone. Constantly. Why is he late? Yeah. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? If you're in that kind of relationship, yeah. you're wasting Get out. your time. Yeah. yeah. You're miserable. That's when you have to start communicating and, and, yep. and maybe right. part ways. And getting yeah. on the yeah. same page or part but ways. I, yeah. I will say if somebody starts flirting with me online or on Facebook or anything mm-hmm. like that, 
I delete them or shut them down immediately. Yeah. And when I'm talking with somebody, say if somebody's interested in, in a coaching session with me or something, and I realize it's getting a little flirty, almost off the bat, I say, I have a boyfriend. You yeah. know, my boyfriend and I are doing this, you know, just to drop the uh, information mm -hmm. that I'm involved and yeah. thank you, but no thank you. Yeah. No, See, I'm friendly, up. and I, we've discussed this before. I'm friendly. But mm -hmm. if I'm in a in a position where I'm at a bar, especially when I'm home in New York and I'm not here and Danny's here in Florida, yeah. if I'm at a bar with a friend or even by myself, you know, I'm not going to accept a drink invite from a stranger. Yeah. I don't I don't do that. I think that invites um more big time. Yeah. Than what you're looking yeah. for. You know what I mean? I, I don't so I think that's I, a form of disrespect to Danny. So I that I would so. not I do. So yeah. I want to bring up one more thing before the show's over. Go ahead. Is, go ahead. is and I, I especially love to hear the three opinions. That was a great question. Is uh, manners and uh, uh, when you're uh, opening doors for women, how you eat, um, th you know, putting a girl on a pedestal a little bit. Are those things of the past? Is it still a good thing? Is Can it, you repeat that, Rob? I'm sorry, I didn't. I missed all right, that. Um, I wanted to kind of like uh, I, I can't remember the word. Yeah, um, etiquette or uh, or chivalry. Chivalry. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, so uh, I want to talk about opening you. doors. Chivalry. And and, yep. and mm. uh, opening uh, up doors. Or right. eating properly, or uh, having table manners, um, putting a, a woman on a pedestal a little mm -hmm. bit, even though I s completely admire my wife's ability in her career. And she's one smart lady, but she's still, I treat her like she's your she's only queen. special, yeah. my yeah. queen. Yeah. yeah. And so I still open doors for her. I yeah. still do all these little things that it seems like I'm kind of old fashioned. Yeah. That's, I mean, but is, is it still, it's still, light? it's still alive. Is it still, it's still okay? done. Big time. If you don't do that yeah. for your girl. Grow, I mean, grow up. I mean, I would, I would be, I, mean, I would like, say something. If, if I you're was in line chair. to eat, always make sure Sherry go first or go through. Yeah. I can't even walk through a door in it's front of my wife. Just being a gentleman. I mean, um, I don't necessarily open the door in the car every time, but um, just because of practicality. But sure. I mean, but when we go through the store or something, I can't let her go through that door without me opening it, yeah. and I can't go ahead of her. Yeah. Yeah. That's Impossible. beautiful. Yeah. Well, I think that's just called good manners as yeah, well. I think so, too. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. So yeah. is that an old thing now, or is it still no, expected? No, it's not. Is it still special? No. no. No, not at all. And I'll tell you, even um, say if you're walking into a store and you hold the door open for somebody and they take it, I, I will tell you, it rankles me if somebody doesn't say thank you. Oh, I know. And yeah. I say, th and I always make it a point to say thank you with yeah. a little smile because uh, you know somebody showed some manners or some chivalry, yeah. which is nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is nice. That'll never be dead. Yeah, mm. I I'll agree with that. Like, they sure like to have it dead. It seems like. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you an example. Just happened to me <laughs> two days ago. I was at Circle K and I was walking out of the Circle K. I see this lady coming up from the left. So I hurry and scurry to the door and I want to go outside to hold the door instead of having my arm hang out the door holding it open because I'm a big dude, I'll be blocking the door. Well, she walks not into the entrance, but she walks into the exit where I went out real quick and she came in so fast that she stepped on my foot and I looked at her like, I was going to hold the door open for you. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, she just expected it and then just basically bombarge through the exit and I was just like wait hold on a second let me open the door for you you know and not be uncomfortable while holding my arm out you know like this <laughs> holding the door open but I just think if you expect it you know that bothers me yeah but I think well chivalry, manners go both ways Derek exactly exactly for yes. her for the girl it was just situational maybe she wasn't paying attention uh, I don't know mm -hmm. but at the same time when I looked at her she said you know sorry and I said it's all right but I could tell she expected me to open it and to before not to go outside first and hold it like that, but to have my arm hang and hold the door open for her. And I was like, "That's interesting." That kind of bugged me, but anyway. Go figure. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> just it is go what it is. Figure. You know, sometimes it's just. <laughs> You know what, Derek? Sometimes you just can't win for losing. Yeah, you she, really can't. No matter what you do. Exactly. And okay. just she stepped on my okay. shoe. That was the big thing. I mean, literally, she scuffed up my shoes, and I was just like, "Come on!" 
You're just in too that much of a hurry. That would me to no end. I'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's just trying <laughs> to be nice. But Seriously. Chivalry is never dead. I think if, I mean, just it's good to be a gentleman. I don't know. Uh, it's definitely you know where chival- chivalry is dead? Never. Is on the road. That is where chivalry I is think, dead. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, people exactly. People cut you off. What are you doing? Yeah. Just like, <laughs> it lasts for the first year and then it goes away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they need a safe space. You know, road yeah. rage, the final frontier for chivalry. Mm, I think. Uh, yeah, seriously, it's, it's a tipping yeah. point. That's for sure. Mm. So it's probably safe to say that guys don't shouldn't have cry rooms either, right? No, they definitely <laughs> shouldn't. No. I think it's equally nice when when a woman takes care of uh, her partner too you know opens up the door you know mm-hmm. i mean it's i think it's sure. it's different it's fun yeah it's surprising well, yeah it shocks me uh, i'm like oh my god you are awesome if someone if i see a woman do that i point it out i'm like you are so thank you like it <laughs> like it feels yeah. good it's I know like, it does. Yeah. i'm like i treated i treated my uh danny to dinner yeah not yeah. that long ago i'm like i got that. this yeah yeah. I will treat you. He's like, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Let me buy you yeah, drinks. Yeah, I think When Sherry I think and I were dating, nice we actually and would actually do that. Actually, good yeah. manners because usually Tom, you know, picks up dinner, and uh, I like to do that for him every once in a while yeah. too. He doesn't expect it, yeah. and I think it's a nice gesture. It is. Yeah. You yes. know, to to let them know that you yeah. guys deserve. Yeah. And what you're saying is, I acknowledge that you're doing <laughs> this. It's just for a me. nice thing to do. Yeah, it is yes. exactly. That was a great thing to do for sure. Huh. Well, um, I guess I guess I, I guess I'm not that old fashioned. This should be a two hour show. <laughs> I know because be. I, I got about two minutes left here, but um, I think next show I'd like to talk about emptiness, empty nest sy- syndrome, and, and can get really. Syndrome. Yeah. Do you uh, want to keep relationships going for a part two, and then we'll talk? We'll bring that up I think, on the subject. I, I, oh, we've already kind of talked about doing a few more of these shows. Okay, good, good. There's cause no think, way we could even. No, you can't stop yeah. on one. That's just no, because uh, ridiculous. Because uh, we got you know children aspect, yep. uh, death, hardships, yep, yep. all kinds There's of things that go through. So life. much in relationships yeah, we, to talk about. I got a list of my own. Yeah, we here. just just got into it. Yeah, yeah um, I was trying to find. We've only scraped fairly, the surface. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we didn't talk about the good stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, My biggest thing is, I I always like to kind of send out (laughs) the message of uh, no matter what in every show. I think the highest level of thing that's important in all relationships is communication. Um, Yeah, yeah, um, without a doubt. And I think every show we do, we can kind of keep reminding communication, talking. Uh, thinking out loud, Laughter. I think those are so important, yeah. and it's hard. That's mm-hmm. not—I mean, it's so easy to say the word, yeah, communication, but relationship-wise, it's—I it, I, just—I know how hard it can be for some, and it's humbling. Yeah. Uh, you gotta—if you're going to be in a relationship, you almost have to tell yourself, "I need to put my guard down. Yep. I need to." Keep these windows open because yep. um, I'm going to have to say I'm sorry once in a while. Yeah. I'm going to have to say what's wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to have to say something bad happened. Yeah. Uh, you know, so uh, I, I guess I want to make sure in all these shows we always talk about communication one way or another because that's ki- communication and money. Those are killers. Mm-hmm. And, and it's hard. It could be something that could be beautiful and just one dumb thing could wreck a beautiful, you know, Companionship or connection. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen it happen so many times. Yeah, so we got I some agree. great yeah. stuff to talk about. So man, I got to wrap this show up. We're just stretching out and getting ready. Yeah, Jeez, so we haven't we, even begun. I know, but it's been a, <laughs> just it's actually up. been an hour already. So I, I want to thank the girls very much for uh, inviting us to kind of be involved in your show. Thank you so much. You guys and are awesome. uh, we're going to uh, broadcast thank this through uh, Good Talk Radio. And uh, also through our Arizona Talk Radio. And, uh, Derek, so, uh, are you dancing? Do you want to dance with me? I always dance. I'm doing them. I'm doing them. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I got to be careful because uh, Cinder's right here. And I don't Plus, wanna... he's all spiffy today. Yeah, yeah spiffy. I'll probably rip my shirt. Or yeah. So, anyway, guys, <laughs> I've got to wrap this up. I want to thank everybody for listening. Yeah. Thank everybody for being on this panel. And yeah. I know we're going to try to do some more of these because we haven't even scratched the surface. No, this is a warm up. Great subject. Yeah. So, and if we've been helpful to anybody, yeah. Just one person. Hope you brought some value. We've had success. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, please, uh, uh, anybody catches this show after it's live, please still leave comments. Mm-hmm. Still send us notes. Leave messages in our Facebooks, whether it's the girls or ours. Yep. And so we can uh, uh, answer or, or address 
your statements in our next show. During the show, yeah. yeah. So thank Great. you, thank yeah. you guys so much. Yeah, you so. Guys are awesome. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Derek. Bye, you guys. All right, Thanks, take Rob. care. Thanks, you guys Derek. Switch your screen. Bye, Have everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Hey, thank you so much for watching our show. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Talk to you later. See you next time. Bye.